Nice. Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner is getting a first-hand look of the newly developed Sunrise Lofts located in East Downtown. It will house vulnerable, high-risk, and homeless young adults, as well as 18 to 25-year-olds aging out of the foster care system. I look to to walk through uh, this this home uh, for those who will be aging out of the foster program um, and providing them. Uh, not with any kind of development, but really a development that will heighten their self-esteem, um, that will make them uh, uh, walk around, uh, play, develop their entrepreneurial spirits um, with a great deal of pride means everything. The 89-unit Sunrise Lofts will have on-site case managers, life and career coaches, financial wellness, and more. We're doing a wraparound service. It's not only provide them a safe, sound, and sanitary place to live, but we're also looking at providing emotional counseling, number one, because many times they've had trauma early on in life. And number two, we're going to have job training as well. The city of Houston proudly contributed $1.56 million. David Northern, CEO and president of the Houston Housing Authority, says those funds came from the Home Investment Partnership Program to finance the land acquisition and a portion of the construction costs for the development. So the Houston Housing Authority was a partner. We dedicated 89 units of project-based adopters, which equates to close to $16 million over the time frame of the 15-year compliance period. The Tejano Center is a major contributor in helping this project come to fruition. Mayor Turner says the facility provides hope and a promise that every young person housed here has the chance at a better tomorrow. But to the Tejano Center, let me thank you all. Because uh, literally you have outdone yours, yourselves. And quite frankly, it won't just benefit the 89 residents here. It will go far beyond. For the City of Houston, Office of the Mayor, I'm Siobhan Herndon.